Deeper Than Dirt presents. Thank you, Lord. This is me, right here. This is me. as soon as you can. Say when. My name's Colorado. I've been hunting my whole life. Guiding, outfitting, and hunting. Where in the world? 30 years now, I've made my living outdoors. Somewhere in the outback. We're in Mongolia. Hello, Argentina. Right on the El Picho. Red Square, Moscow, Russia. Howdy, Colorado. Welcome to New Zealand. Where in the world? I just love it so much. I'm gonna keep on loving it if it don't kill me. If I had it my way, I'd take the whole world home. Hi, I'm Frank Cole. Senior International Big Game Consultant at Cabela's Outdoor Ventures. I've been very blessed this week to, uh, to spend my week in New Mexico with Colorado Buck at Rocky Top Outfitters. I was really, really looking forward to hunt with Frank. He's my buddy. He, I wanted to hunt with him. You know, we, we worked together all the time. We never got a chance to go hunt together. Bella's Outdoor Ventures has been working with Rocky Top Outfitters for, I'm going to say 20 years, give or take, and, and they, uh, we've represented several of his hunts through multiple states, and he's just been a very solid outfitter. runs uh, the Cabela's Tags program. I say he runs, he, as far as I'm concerned, he runs, I call him uh, and have him do my applications for me. He's, he's booked a lot of hunts for us and it's just been a great relationship. Colorado and I have known each other over a decade. Uh, you've seen him on the TV shows and, and I remember the first time I met him, I wasn't sure what I was in for. Here's this long haired guy on TV and, and he turned out to be one of the most genuine, humble people I know. Now Frank, let me, be, let me speak frankly about Frank, okay? The dadgum guy, I got it in there. Did you hear that? I just found him to be a great guy. I just found him to be honest, trustworthy, and in my opinion, that's you don't find that around every corner today. When you call me at Cabela's Outdoor Ventures and you want to book an elk hunt, I'm not going to just send you to an elk guide that I may know. It might be a bad fit for you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna dig in deeper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn what you want for your hunt, uh, like weapon choice, caliber of elk you hope to get a crack at, budget, lodging restrictions or requirements or desires, anything like that. So you actually have years of experience. Uh, all my ex expertise on different elk camps from Montana all the way down through Arizona, through Cabela's tags, I can help you, I can assist you in drawing that tag, building points to draw that tag in the future. Uh, so I'm really your personal hunting consultant to fulfill your hunting dreams. Where in the World is Colorado Buck is brought to you by CheaperThanDirt.com Armscore USA and Rock Island Pistols Carlson's Choke Tubes, The Shooter's Choice, Norma Ammunition, Precision Ammunition for the Serious Hunter, Worldwide Trophy Adventures, The Mule Deer Foundation, 
Kenetrek Boots, Wild Bill's Taxidermy, The Horseshoe Outfitters in Quebec, Canada, ACI and the Ammo and More Store in Stevensville, Montana, and the Colorado Buck Special Edition Rifle by the Montana Rifle Company. This segment is brought to you by the Colorado Buck Special Edition Rifle from Montana Rifle Company. When we started this hunt off, Frank got here, obviously he was, he was well aware of the weather and the situation. Sunday, there was record high temperatures in Denver, in Colorado Springs, and in Pueblo. I'm just over the border, uh, just a little bit east of Raton, and it is hot. I was looking forward to going hunt with him, and here was the worst conditions I've had in, since Moby Dick was a minnow. Outfitter needs to control what is controllable. He cannot control the weather. Uh, and Colorado's done a, a tremendous job with everybody in camp, getting everybody out early, getting, getting the guides coordinated to where they're gonna hunt so they're not on top of each other, hunting known bowls where they went to bed, uh, hunting water spots. Water has been very key here. They hope they're hot too, they're burning up. They're gonna hit the wallows, they're gonna hit the water holes. We're wearing out binoculars, glass in the dark timber. Trying to catch a movement, a little flash of antler or a little bit of a, a bull elk yellow as it bedded down or something. They're in the shade, they're in the shadows. They're hard to see. If you knew they was there, it'd be hard to see but you still gotta go give it a try, and we did. You see that mountain range right there? Yeah. You see those two mountains over there? That's called Spanish Peaks. All that's in Colorado. And right there is where every bit of this got started. Almost 30 years ago. Basically, that's where I spent my young life. Me and a team of guys that was in their 20s and about big around your gun barrel. Yeah, this is immense country. As far as you can see, elk country. It's immense. It is every bit of it. It's wild and it's unsettled. It's beautiful. It's not messed up by man yet. I love this right here. You know, if a guy can still get around and go hunt, you can hunt here and, and enjoy it. The, the property here is, is a very unique piece of, piece of uh, property. It's a big ranch, it's over 20,000 acres, and it borders 20,000 additional acres that James and I both hunt. And James Coppage is my partner. It's location in, in proximity to other private ranches and very limited access hunting areas uh, make it, I'd call it an elk hunting mecca, if you will. It's terrain, it's very hunter friendly. I've climbed the steep mountains and you know the 12 and 14,000 footers and, and hunted elk at, at 10 to 12,000 feet and I enjoyed it but I like this, I like this. They call this old man mountains. Now, I like old man mountains now. There's nothing wrong with them. Matter of fact, we become closer friends. The older I get, the closer we get, let's put it like that. The habitat is really pretty wide. There's some really long uh, uh, valleys, really grass valleys, beautiful, lush habitat. They, they have not been running cattle on here, so the, the graze is tremendous. The only activity that goes on on this ranch is elk hunting. 
And since we're doing it, it's um, we can manage it. We can oversee uh, the the impact uh, from from different parts of the ranch. About eight years ago, there was a fire that came through. The cool thing about that is it actually diversified the habitat. There's some those old burns, plenty of fresh protein growing up. Those elk love that, the deer love that. There's some old growth, the uh, uh, pine trees. Uh, so when it's hot like this, they have a place to go lay up. And uh, there's some key water holes, there's some creeks, there's pinions and junipers. I mean, it's, it's got it all. We're finding that we're taking the age class animals a lot, of, a lot of the animals here we're able to take is, is uh, six and a half to nine and a half year old uh, animals. And when they can live that long, you, you hunt trophy class animals. It's, uh, you can't do that just everywhere. Follow all the action on Facebook at Where in the World is Colorado Buck? So one really cool thing about this hunt is, is I get to talk to a lot of people on the phone and unfortunately I don't get to meet everybody face to face and I, I just love that personal time and, and in camp when I arrived were two of my clients and Nick and Zach. They were an absolute treat to hunt with. Their enthusiasm was over the top, their effort, I mean they, they were ready, they come here to go hunt. It was a pleasure to meet them. There's one great six by six bull already down with the two brothers. Killed my bull the second day in. Uh, we had a great opportunity the first day at a, a really large bull. Um, it just did not uh, pan out. The very next day, we worked the ridges, worked on down through the valleys. Um, right before uh, uh, last light, we ended up re uh, getting a, a response to one of our bugles. We were able to go right on in there, and and uh, right there was the bull. Uh, he, I paused for a moment. He uh, bugled again, allowed me to move over to make the shot. It's one of those that's going to go down as a uh, a great memory. Troy, our guide, absolutely phenomenal. Colorado's camp, uh, top notch. Um, we've really, really enjoyed everybody. So what's going on? We just killed a big bull, and it was awesome. It was. Intense and fun. <laughs> oh, nice six by seven. Sweet. Yeah. Got him in the bottom of the draw. It was the one I missed. Okay. Yeah. 13 cows and uh, him. Awesome. Okay. Cheers uh, to you. Between three and 400 yards. Okay. Thank you. Yep. And the wife will let me put it up on the wall. She asked today, she's like, can we put it up on the uh, up above the fireplace? I'm like, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Two happy hunters, but it's really cool, uh, really rewarding for me to actually see the success of my hunters, meet them, and be able to break bread with them. With the opportunity that we had, the experience we had at camp, the people around us, the crew, everything else, it, it, it was, why not come back here? They do archery hunts earlier. They do rifle hunts all the way into uh, November, some cold weather hunts. Tremendous opportunity. We're gonna come back and hunt with Colorado Buck, Troy Hicks, you know, any of the guys that they put us with, we're gonna come back and do that, and we look forward to doing that. Where in the world is Colorado Buck is brought to you by CheaperThanDirt.com. Armscore USA and Rock Island Pistols, Carlson's Choke Tubes, The Shooter's Choice, Norma Ammunition, Precision Ammunition for the Serious Hunter, Worldwide Trophy Adventures, The Mule Deer Foundation, Kenetrek Boots, Wild Bill's Taxidermy, The Horseshoe Outfitters in Quebec, Canada, ACI and the Ammo and More Store in Stevensville, Montana, 
and the Colorado Buck Special Edition Rifle by the Montana Rifle Company. This segment is brought to you by the Colorado Buck Special Edition Rifle from Montana Rifle Company. This valley goes forever down through here. It's a long, long way, but there's a bunch of little tributaries. Most of them's dropped, there's still some water pockets. I mean, we're, we're gonna hunt the water just like we talked about in glass, some of these dark hillsides. And it's getting about the time that, you know, if they're gonna get up and move, they're gonna get up and move now. So I think we're gonna just, we're gonna keep going till we run out of daylight or see something. Yeah, sounds I good. I got your plan, you ready? had to be in the dark, darkest uh, timber. And, and so we did a little bit of stocking, got up on a bench and just slowly moving through. pretty instant. As soon as I put the glasses on him, seen him, he turned his head a little bit, I just, I, my professional, I'm just went, shoot, shoot, just shoot. <laughs> Everybody just, you know, he got in spot, cameras, everything just the way it's supposed to. You couldn't ask for it to be any better. Everybody did their part, and it worked out really good. <laughs> That's a beautiful bull. Go ahead. It's a good guy, name it. That's a good guy. <laughs> all, all the guy goes to Colorado, but what a beautiful bull. This gun is a sweet shooting gun. How do you like all that recoil? What recoil? I know, there's no recoil. Yeah, that's awesome. All I could tell it was a big bull elk. I couldn't tell you how many points it was, but I went straight into, okay, I need to shoot now. And a, uh, I need to focus on the shot and, and, and squeezing the trigger and shot placement and get my job done. And it was exciting to reach my elk and, and put my hands on this, these antlers, which I hadn't really even seen yet, and just see the great mature bull I had just been blessed to take. In New Mexico with my good friend, Colorado Buck, Rocky Top Outfitters, and he has a lease here in New Mexico that is phenomenal. I mean, the proof is right here in my hands. Uh, got a Montana rifle, Colorado uh, Buck license rifle, the RCA Colorado Buck ammo, uh, Seven millimeter did the job. Uh, my, I can't thank you enough, Colorado. Hey, I fantastic you. hunt, fantastic lease, and and please give me a call, Cabela's Outdoor Ventures, and uh, I'll help you book this exact hunt and uh, make your dreams come true as well. And this is a magnificent bull. It's an old mature bull. It's got a lot of mask, a lot of character, but there's some people that 
Don't let the, don't let the size of the of the antlers be everything to you. The hunt and the memories that you take with you, that's what you want to keep with you. That, that's your real trophy. But it doesn't hurt to try and tote something off a mountain like this to get to change. Here's just some handles to pull this nice venison off the mountain. Shooting that Montana rifle, man, was it Isn't it good? beautiful? Ah, oh, it's just sweet, the I trigger. I tell people, and I tell people about it, and, and, until you actually put that on your shoulder and pull the trigger, you, I can talk to you all day long, okay? But when you put it on your shoulder and you pull the trigger, and realize there really is no recoil, and it's a CDS turreted system. It's a Colorado Buck Special Edition rifle by Montana Rifle Company. Load it full of RCA and take it hunting. You'll be you'll be happy. You got a good hunting partner there. Please catch us next week somewhere in the world for a brand new one. Until then, God bless every one of you and good hunting. Close captioning provided by Rocky Top Outfitters. Book your hunt with Colorado today at heycoloradobuck.com. We'll see you on the hunt. I wonder if there's anything to hunt up there. Uh, no. I know lots of people in Florida. I'll probably get us a ride up there just like that. We need to get home. <laughs>